I hope your performance bond doesn't say this. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Alex Barthet with TheLeanZone.com. Today I'm going to talk about what your performance bond should and shouldn't say. So let me explain what a performance bond is. Um, it is a surety instrument that's given to uh, an owner. So if you're the contractor um, or a subcontractor, you're going to give a performance bond to either the owner or the general contractor. And that performance bond is going to guarantee your performance on the job. So understand this is a contract. And as a result, the terms of the contract are very important. Many people defer to the standard AIA form. Um, there are other forms like the AGC, uh, Associated General Contractors of America form. But you should negotiate the terms of your performance bond as aggressively as I hope you are uh, negotiating your contract terms. So what's important to have in your performance bond if you are a contractor? So if it's my bond form and I'm going to give it to somebody else, what I want to make sure that I do is I want to make sure that I slow the process down as much as possible. And the reason it's important is because if an owner has the right to trigger your bond and get your surety involved uh, at the snap of their fingers, they're going to do it, and they're going to, and your surety may come after you and put pressure on you to solve the problem. But if you can slow the process down, you will create some additional leverage. So, if it's my bond form as the contractor that I'm giving to the owner, or if I'm the sub giving it to the contractor, I want to include. Um, some of the terms that are found normally in an AIA style performance bond, which is notice of uh, termination in advance, uh, so a notice and opportunity to cure, uh, a meeting prior to actual termination. Um, again, these are things that are going to slow the process down um, for a default and termination. Now let's take a minute and talk about default and termination as well. There is a distinction. Default means some uh, component part of the contract has not been followed. Um, it, it usually is a material term, but it could be a technical term as well, uh, you know, something not as significant, but that may constitute a default. Termination is when something goes so wrong, typically it's a material uh, default, that it gives the owner the right to terminate. You want to make sure if you are the contractor giving your a bond to an owner or if you're the sub giving it to the GC, that your bond says that it is only liable for uh, terminations, not for default. You don't want your surety to have to come in and deal with problems anytime the owner or the contractor claims a default. So keep these two things in mind. Number one, you want to slow the process down by including notices to you and the surety and ideally meetings before they can trigger the bond and you want to make sure that you in, uh, limit the rights of the performance bond surety to just termination and not default or termination. If you have questions about your performance bond, what it looks like, uh, which is the best form to use, send me an email, alex at barthet.com. Make sure to go to the leanzone.com forward slash forms. We have lots of forms there that you can use uh, for your construction business. Notice to owner, lean. Uh, forms, notice of non-payments and releases, download them for free anytime. See you next time.